Hello everyone, friends. And today we will try to escape from the killer family of Peppa Pig. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Just look at what we've become here. Are we really gonna run around here with this skin? Okay, I think we still need to try to find some weapons, but it looks like they're all bought with Robux. Okay, I think we should try to take these tools. And by the way, it looks like these tools are free after all. Cool, we can use them. I think we should try to take the rest of the tools that are there. They should definitely help us survive today. I hope we can use them all. Just look! It turns out we can really take everything from here, even the magic carpet. Well... Okay, it looks like escaping from these killers won't be as difficult as I initially thought. Now let's try to see what they look like. I don't think they'll be very scary. By the way, just look. For some reason, Daddy Pig's head is stuck in this ladder. Okay, let's go down this ladder and look at them. There really are as many of them as possible. It's a whole family and they run after other players with knives. And it looks like right now they're running straight in our direction. It's good that we have a flying carpet. Otherwise, they would have definitely caught up with us and killed us. By the way, we got to some platform and it looks like there is an ultra spring and a lava carpet. But unfortunately, the ultra spring is also bought for Robux. So all we can get is a lava carpet. By the way, just look how far we've gotten. And here too, there is a free item. And this time it's a golden carpet. But in fact, unfortunately, these items are absolutely no different. They even have the same flight speed. Well, now I think we need to somehow get to this labyrinth, but it looks like Mommy Pig will continue to run after us. By the way, there is a sword here, but it looks like it is also paid. Okay, then we will not try to take any weapons, but just try to run to this labyrinth as quickly as possible and go through it. I really want to know what we will get when we go through this labyrinth completely. It seems that this labyrinth is also unusual because there are killers in it too. We need to try to walk through this labyrinth as carefully as possible and avoid meeting killers, otherwise we will have to run to it again but it seems to me that you will be able to pass this labyrinth perfectly because you have almost passed it. Great! We got here! It looks like there is a pet to choose from among the rewards for completing the game. Okay, it looks like our pet in this game will be a bee because unfortunately, we can't take anything else. It is quite possible that this is happening because we simply have no more space in our inventory. Okay, I don't think we should stay in this location because there are no more items that we could take from here, so I think we should head straight to the exit and continue trying to survive in this location with killers. Yes, this task is really very gigantic. It seems to me that it is extremely difficult to explore it completely. And by the way, I am very surprised that there are a huge number of different free skins here. Well, okay. I think now we should look for some other items that can be useful to us against these killers. It's a pity that in this game we can't use weapons. I would really like to try to fight them. Although when we were running away from the Sonic killers, this weapon didn't help us at all because it didn't cause any damage to our enemies. Okay, I think it doesn't matter at all. Right now we need to focus on making sure these killers can't kill us and I think we should try to fight them with the tools we have in our inventory. It seems to me that we are unlikely to be able to defeat them somehow because there is not even a trap in which we can drive them. Unlike the Sonic killers in which we could simply send all the Sonics into the pool and they would fight among themselves there. But here, unfortunately, they are not going to fight among themselves because they are family. But I really like flying around this location with the help of this cool cloud. In fact, using this cloud is much cooler than using a magic carpet because with the help of this cloud, we can fly as if we were on a surfboard. By the way, it looks like Daddy Pig is trying to catch up with someone, but now he has switched to us and he really wants to kill us. It's good that he can't fly, because in that case, he would have a much better chance of reaching us. Okay, now I think we should continue to explore this whole location, 
and maybe we will gather a huge group of our pursuers in the form of the whole Peppa Pig family. Do you really want us to run away from Peppa Pig's entire family who are armed with knives? I think that would be too creepy. They are really running after us with the most creepy sounds. By the way, Mummy Pig is now running after us too. It looks like we've already assembled a group of two pursuers. All that's left is to find George and Peppa herself. I can already see George! He's running after another player! And by the way, it looks like this player died now only because of us. Because if we hadn't turned in his direction, the other two pursuers wouldn't have run after him. And by the way, I see Peppa Pig. It looks like we'll collect them all now. Okay, we really have gathered all the pursuers and now they are running right after us. I am actually extremely scared because of this because they make very scary sounds. Oh no, unfortunately because of one of my unsuccessful turns, we took damage, but I think that they still won't be able to kill us. These guys are really creepy as hell. I'm really scared when I see characters from a children's cartoon with knives in their hands. I think it really looks wrong. And by the way, it looks like there's a huge crowd of players here who also want to try to run away from them. But it looks like this guy with a spring in his hands isn't doing a very good job of it. He only has one more hit to survive! Oh, it looks like this guy can run pretty fast and he manages to live for a long time! But I don't think it will last forever! Just look! When he tried to change his instrument, he was immediately attacked! Okay, it looks like we need to try to be as careful as possible too! Okay, I don't think it will be that hard for us. Let's get back to that crowd of killers and try to run away from them again. I'm really sad that we don't have the ability to use weapons. But the coolest thing is that we have a bee that flies after us and she sprays pollen. By the way, we just stepped on the green button and it looks like this button was needed to restore health. Okay, this is really cool. I didn't think there were such things here. By the way, it seems to me that we haven't explored all the locations in this game yet. I think we need to try to find something else. By the way, just look. There were a huge number of funny hats here, and we chose some kind of golden idiotic hat. It looks like we'll be able to continue walking around these fun locations with this golden hat. By the way, I think we should still try to take some of the items that are here. Maybe they'll be free? I don't think there really can be anything free here. It would be much better to continue exploring these locations. And it is quite possible that we will find something really useful for us here. Oh no! Daddy Pig ran out right after us and is running up these stairs. He did us quite a lot of damage, but we managed to react in time and are flying away from him on this cloud. Cool, we have now reached the roof of this building and I think we can continue changing clothes here. By the way, I have never liked this hood. It seems to me that it is extremely idiotic and we have already been to this place. Here we have the opportunity to paint parts of our body. Well, actually, I really enjoyed this game and had the most fun running away from this huge amount of killers. And now it's time to move straight to the next game. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will escape from our friend's prison again. And these are the guys, PJ Mask. I just adore them. By the way, just recently we saw them on the set when they were filming their new cartoon series. Yes, I remember that too. It was really cool. Now we need to get further, and now we will run forward. By the way, just look, the developers changed the platforms here. These platforms now levitate and move out. This adds difficulty to the passage of this game. Well, okay, now we need to press this button and then we will jump on the platforms that have moved out. Okay, I really want to meet the first boss in this game as soon as possible. We got to this location, just look, it's Gecko. By the way, he runs really, really funny. I really like the animation of his movement, but it seems to me that he runs too fast. He can easily catch up with us. He can really do it. He runs after us really fast. Looks like he gave up. Well, okay. He'll have to continue patrolling this area now, and we'll head straight to the room with the toilets. In fact, I was really scared because he almost caught up with us. This guy really runs really fast. Finally, we got here. 
okay, by the way? The developers decided to leave this tunnel open and we didn't even have to dig it. This saves us a lot of time, and now we need to run to this red button so that additional platforms appear. And they finally appeared! By the way, I really like when developers add exactly this way of passing this location because it is really something new and very rarely repeated in other games. Okay, now we need to jump on these strange objects that are bathing in lava, and then we will need to run along the corridor with a huge rolling stone. This corridor is also quite an easy test. There is nothing absolutely difficult here. We just need to hide around the corners while this ball rolls past us. And by the way, we managed to do it, and right now we will see the second boss. Just look. It's the Night Ninja. I was always afraid of him in the cartoon because he looks so mysterious. And here he also runs after us pretty fast. He really can catch us. But it seems to me that he runs even slower than the gecko. And by the way, we were able to escape from him. That's really cool. I thought this challenge would be harder, but right now we are going up these half-ruined steps and then we will need to take the elevator straight to the energy drink challenge. This will be my favorite challenge because we run really fast in it and I really love action. We finally got to this vending machine, and right now we're going to drink this energy drink and go and do this race. By the way, I really like that in this race, the developers made a big distance between the platforms, and we may not be able to pass this test on the first try because it seems to me that it is quite difficult. Although Bluey has passed these tests a large number of times, and it is quite possible that she will not have difficulty with it. Bingo, are you not looking at the screen at all? I actually passed this test a long time ago, and by the way, now we will need to jump from this ladder to the ventilation. I really like to pass this test, but I only like to pass it when I can do it on the first try. But today I couldn't do it. Most likely this happened precisely because the ladder was already installed instead of us. We have already passed the test with the bridge and the fan. In fact, this test is one of the most boring in this game. Although in some games, the developers change this bridge and add something new to it. Okay, now we need to jump on these pipes and then we will go to the test with the valves. Here, the developers change the color of the vents. And by the way, just look. They decided to add levitating platforms here. I really like it when the developers somehow change the platforms here, but I still wait for the developers of these modes to change the location of the vents themselves. That would be really cool. Okay, we are done with this test, and now we need to run along this ventilation straight to the test where we will run with a fan. I also think that it would be the coolest if the developers ever changed the location of the valves, but I think that will never happen. Okay, we've already run through this ventilation, and now we need to run forward here. By the way, it's really cool that the developers made quite large distances between the platforms in this test, because otherwise this mode would be extremely boring. But in fact, this mode is quite difficult. And because of this, it is interesting to play... Okay. We jumped in this wind tunnel, but I couldn't do this jump on the first try because it's really very difficult to do. But there's nothing wrong with that because we jumped into this ventilation shaft on the second try, and now we're going to fight against Chef Romeo. By the way, this boss moves quite slowly, but in fact, it's great that he doesn't throw food at us because it seems to me that it would be much more difficult for us to defeat him. And by the way, we have a certain problem with dealing damage to him. It seems to me that it will be extremely difficult for us to defeat him because not all projectiles deal damage to this boss. It seems to me that he moves in the strangest way. He constantly tries to turn away from us. Okay, we finally defeated him. And by the way, he exploded in a very funny way. This is very unusual. By the way, Another unusual thing here is the fact that we didn't have to slide down this hill, but instead we just ran very quickly along it. 
Now we need to go up this ladder, and then we will go straight to the wind tunnel with lasers. By the way, the developers of this game decided to make the lasers multicolored. I really like it. I love how the developers change the color of the lasers in this tube instead of leaving them just red. It looks much cooler. And I also really love it. When the developers add new colors to this game, it makes it more vibrant and much more fun to play. Okay, we've reached the final challenge, and here we don't even need to take the metal bars. Instead, we just need to jump on these platforms, and right now we're going to fight the final boss, Owlet. I really like the fact that the developers made him as gigantic as possible. It looks really scary. But unfortunately, in this game, he doesn't shoot his machine guns. Instead, he just tries to catch up with us. It's pretty weird that he tries to do that, because why does he even need these two giant machine guns instead of hands? Okay, I only have a few more shots left. By the way, it's funny that here we had to kill him just by shooting at his torso. This is the most unexpected for me. Wait, seriously? We just walked up to this car and teleported to the final location? This looks really weird. Okay, it looks like we can try using other skins here. Wow, we chose the skin of this baby. He looks extremely funny, but it seems to me that our gameplay will not change at all. I would really like to get to the helipad, but it seems that in this game, we simply do not have such an opportunity. Well, I really like this game. It is really very cool, and I really love PJ Masks. Now, let's move on straight to the next game. Oh, these are the same creepy animals from the creepy zoo. I saw this game. It appeared just recently. This kangaroo looks really creepy. He even has an animation of the mouth moving, which is located on his stomach. I think I would never want to see this in real life. I wonder why he needs this mouth if his mouth on his head is quite good at eating food. I don't quite understand it. But it looks like these teeth on the belly are needed to keep the little kangaroo safer. This theory sounds extremely stupid, but I don't have any other adequate theories. So let's break the grate right now with this wrench and go to the kangaroo. By the way, just look at how he moves. He really does push off his tail in order to move forward. The developer of this game really tried very hard on the animation of movements because it is absolutely not similar to the animation of the usual berry. I really, really like the way this kangaroo looks because he looks quite scary. Okay, so far, I really like this game a lot. And now we need to head straight to this ventilation in order to go to the room with the toilets. This room with toilets has a very beautiful design. I really like the purple walls. By the way, I'm very glad that this game doesn't have the same design as the original zoo game because it seems to me that in that case, the atmosphere would be too creepy and I would be very scared. By the way, don't you think it's strange that lately there are too many horror games about zoos? Like before there was Zoo Anomaly, and now there's this new game. It seems to me that horror game developers are running out of imagination. And it seems to me that the developers of these games are just trying to make very brilliant horrors because the best horrors are obtained when a person finds himself in a familiar environment in which he only gets pleasure. But in it, everything suddenly starts to happen not according to plan. By the way, I think you're right. I absolutely agree with you. This is a really cool solution. By the way, we got to the next boss. Oh no, my god. It's a giant gorilla with tentacles. But by the way, it looks like he doesn't care about us at all. Maybe he just has really bad eyesight and can't see us. This guy doesn't give a damn. He's just walking around here and not even trying to run after us. By the way, he really does look very scary. Well, I can't call him a boss because all we did was just run into this room, twist the lever, and climb up the half-ruined steps. And right now, we are heading to the elevator. By the way, this elevator is the same as the one in Sonic's Prison Escape. It is also white and transparent. I really like it. I really love this kind of design. And by the way, we have already reached the energy drink race. Now we need to drink this energy drink and then we will run forward. I love the energy drink challenge, but to be honest, it starts to get on my nerves sometimes because the developers don't change anything here. But by the way, it was in this game that the developers decided to add lava at the bottom 
It looks really cool. I generally like this game for its design because all the textures are very beautiful and all the models also look perfect. Yes, I really like this game too. Oh no. Unfortunately, I forgot that we need to take the ladder. But in fact, maybe I just got fed up somewhere deep down in my soul with the fact that this ladder will already be installed there. But unfortunately, we will have to do it ourselves. Well, we installed this ladder and now we need to jump up there. God, how I hate doing this. Don't worry. We've already reached the fan challenge. Now we just need to jump on this bridge so as not to fall down. This is actually one of the easiest challenges in this game. But I've seen how many players can't like this challenge. They probably don't understand that in this challenge you just need to hold down the jump button and not let go. Okay, now the main thing for us is to just pass this test with the valves. By the way, the developers of this game changed the color of the valves to a darker one. Well, because of this, for new players, it is quite possible that these valves will become less noticeable. But in fact, it seems to me that most of the players who will play this game have already played it before, and they definitely know the exact location of all these screws. Okay, now we can move on. And right now, we'll go to the test with fans. Now, the main thing for us is to just climb up these things, and then we'll go straight to the ventilation, by the way. Today we're coping with this game for quite a short time because only 280 seconds have passed and we've almost reached the race with fans. Finally, we are here and we can pass this test. Okay, it seems to me that the distance between the platforms here is quite small because here we absolutely do not need to strain ourselves in order to jump over the gaps between these platforms. They are really very small and it seems that the developers did this in order to simplify this game. Okay, now we need to jump in this wind tunnel and then we'll go straight to the next boss. Oh no, wait, seriously. We got that bug again where we have too much jump power and a very slow landing. I really hope that this doesn't stop us from continuing to play this game. Oh, just look at this creepy boss. This is a giraffe with a huge number of creepy legs and a scary mouth. And by the way, the developer did not try at all on the animation of this giraffe because this giraffe seems to just swim with the help of these legs instead of sorting through them. It looks like he's just jumping and statically not moving his paws. Well, okay, we defeated him. And now we need to reset our character so that this bug doesn't happen to us again. Oh my god, these constantly appearing notifications really piss me off. Oh no. Unfortunately, the fact that we rebooted our character did not help us at all, and he continues to fall slowly. But it seems to me that it is quite possible that our character will still be able to fly over this giant abyss. Yes, great. We really managed to do it. Now we can go straight to the test with lasers. Oh yeah, we finally got to it. By the way, I really like that when they add translucent walls to the laser challenge. It really looks really cool. And the developers of this game decided to make these lasers white. And it also looks incredibly beautiful. I really like it. Okay, we've almost completed this challenge. And now we just have to complete the last challenge before meeting the final boss. By the way, we can pass this test with the help of a bug, because of which we jump very high. And we don't even need to take metal bars in order to pass this test. Great! We got to the final boss, and it's a robot giraffe. I think we will defeat him very quickly, because we have the fastest firing weapon with which we can defeat him very quickly. Great! We finally beat this boss and it was very easy. I actually really liked this game because it had a very beautiful design and everything that was in this game was insanely cool. Now let's get into this special forces car and go straight to the next game. This is the same game about that creepy restaurant. Okay, let's try to complete it today. And unfortunately, we don't have a big team to complete this game. So today, we'll have to play it together. Why do we always have such a weird hairstyle in this game? I don't like it at all. Okay, first we need to find all the buckets of chicken legs. Okay, we found the first bucket, but in this game we need to find 20 buckets. It seems to me that this will be a really difficult task, but I really hope that we can cope with it.
I think this task is difficult for us only because in this game we have only one teammate. So now we need to concentrate as much as possible on finding all these buckets with chicken. And by the way, we have already found as many as five of them. Oh no, now this beast is chasing us. It's good that it moves rather slowly because it seems to me that if it moved faster, it would have caught up with us a long time ago. By the way, I thought that we would spend a very long time collecting these buckets of chicken, but it seems that today we are coping with it quite easily. Great. We have already collected half of the total number of buckets that we need to collect. I really hope that our teammate is not wasting time and she is really focused on finding these items. I think we need to explore the rest of the locations in this game now. Okay, we have one more bucket. I can already see the second one. It seems to me that today we should definitely be able to pass this game because we are already doing quite well with it. Now we have three buckets in our hands and I hope that our teammate also collected quite a lot of them. We finally got all three of these buckets into this weird machine. Now I think we should explore some locations we haven't been to yet. I think we might have missed something here. Great! Our teammate brought the other seven buckets and I think we have a much better chance of beating this game now. I think we'll skip this video because we've already seen what's really going to happen here. This guy broke this ticket machine with his long tongue and now all the coins are flying all over the restaurant. I think that looking for coins will be much more difficult than looking for buckets with chicken because these coins are much smaller and much harder to notice. But I think that we can still cope with this task. The second coin, we finally found it. In fact, Quite a long period of time passed before we found it, because it seems to me that it is really extremely difficult for us to look for all these coins in this game. Well, okay, now we just need to continue running around the same locations in which we have already been before and look for all these coins in them. By the way, I remember that when we played this game last time, there were no tickets here. There are strange yellow tickets scattered all over the location, and I honestly have absolutely no idea what they could be useful for. By the way, we have already collected five coins and just almost met this beast again. I really don't want to go to this location. Therefore, I think that for now, we should explore the rest of the locations of this game. I really hope that our teammate is focused on finding these coins just like we are because we are trying very hard to find them all. And by the way, we have already found seven coins and brought them straight to this machine. I am waiting for the moment when our teammate brings the coins that he found to this machine because quite a lot of time has passed and she has not brought anything here yet. Another coin to the total. In total, we have already collected eight coins in this game. But to be honest, I have no idea where the rest could be because it seems to me that we have already explored absolutely all the territories in this game. We haven't explored this castle yet, and we've already found at least one coin here. But I think there will be more, although for now, I only see these golden tickets. By the way, there is another coin here. We finally found a total of 10 coins, and it seems to me that we will be looking for these coins much longer because our teammate has not yet brought a single coin to this machine. So finally, all 10 coins are inside the machine, okay? Now we need to go upstairs and start picking up the rest of the coins that are here. By the way, it's pretty funny that there was a room here that had two coins at once. It seems to me that we should have come here even earlier. We have already found 14 coins and I don't understand what our teammate is actually doing because she hasn't brought a single coin into this machine yet. Okay. Now we need to run away from this beast because it will be very sad if after all our efforts he can kill us. We brought five more coins to this machine and it seems to me that our teammate is very lazy because he brought absolutely nothing here. I think that we will have to look for all these coins ourselves and constantly run away from this beast because it seems to me that he is purposefully running straight after us. By the way, we still haven't been to this location, and I think we can find what we need here. We need to find five more coins, and we've already found two of them. 
I think we should get into the tunnel that's at the bottom of this location, because it seems to me that there might definitely be something useful for us in it. Just look. There was another coin here. Okay, we just have to find one more coin here and we'll be able to pass this level. And here is the last coin! We finally found it. But getting to it will not be very easy because these trampolines work really strangely. Great, we finally jumped to it. And now we need to move towards the machine that accepts all these coins. We actually found all these coins ourselves without the help of our teammate. Wait, did she lose? Okay. Looks like now I understand why we actually played this entire game on our own. Okay, so now we're spinning some Wheel of Fortune, and it looks like we're going to get something really interesting here. Looks like we got the most common prize! Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. And now we're going to run away from another monster, this huge polar bear that lives in the ice castle. And by the way, this monster is really quite dangerous because it constantly has a frost trail behind it that freezes us. And now we need to find 20 gears and we'll have to do it ourselves. But by the way, there were quite a lot of these gears near the spawn itself. I can already see that there really are a lot of them here. And as soon as we spawned, we immediately found four of them. And now I think we need to move on because we still need to find all the rest. Cool, there's another gear here. And by the way, I still haven't seen that polar bear monster. I think this level will be even easier for us because here we really cope with all these challenges pretty quickly. By the way, look! This is a huge pool with balls and there is one monster in it too. You have to step carefully on it because otherwise we can be killed. Cool! We immediately took all nine gears that we found before and now we need to continue exploring this location in search of the rest of the gears in this game. I think we should be able to find them today. Another gear! Great! Finally, we found half of the gears from the total required amount. Now we need to continue exploring this location. Oh no! This polar bear noticed us and now he is running right after us. Well, it's good that we were able to trick him and run to the next gear. Here now we need to find shelter from him. In fact, Exiting doorways so abruptly is extremely dangerous because at any moment one of the monsters could appear around the corner. By the way, it seems to me that we find gears even faster than coins because these gears are really scattered all over the location, but they are more noticeable than coins. There are many coins that look like golden tickets, of which there are already plenty here. I think it's time to take the gears we found! Cool. We took all the gears and we still have six gears to find in this location. I think it won't be that hard, but we'll still have to try really hard because we have to do it alone. We got to the game room that we haven't been to yet. I think there should definitely be gears here. Yeah, great. There were two gears in this tunnel that we needed to find. Now I think we should go up to the second floor and explore it. Although I can already see that there definitely won't be a single gear there. Okay, we just need to find the last three gears, and it seems to me that they are already somewhere nearby. Great! We have almost found them all. One more gear, and we will finally be able to complete this game. Oh no! Wait! It turns out I counted wrong. We have collected all the gears that we needed, and now we need to beware of the beaver who will hunt us here along with all the other animals. And now we need to look for the golden keys. I think they're even more noticeable than the gears. Oh no, it's that polar bear again. He's noticed us and is chasing us again, but I think his AI is as stupid as it gets because this guy is following us in the wrong direction. Oh no, it looks like we're going to have to touch the white trail here. We are slowed down for a very long time, and I think we really have no chance to hide from this bear because he is running right after us. Oh my God, he is going to grab us now. Yes, unfortunately we lost. Well, let's go straight to the next game now. You forgot to say that this is not just a prison, but a prison in the form of a school. And by the way, wait, do we seriously have a jetpack in this game? It seems like the developers of this game really gave extra items to all the players who come here. And because of this, it seems to me that we are able to complete this game extremely quickly. But I think it would be unfair. I would like to play this game longer. 
And with this jetpack, we can reach the finish line in three minutes. I think thanks to this jetpack, we will explore this territory much better. By the way, look! It looks like there is a secret room here where someone locked Barry behind bars. I'm very surprised that we met him here. Okay, now we need to somehow get out of here. And we did it with the help of our jetpack. Okay, now let's go through this door and see what challenges await us ahead. Bingo, don't act like you don't know what challenges await us ahead. We've already played a similar game several times and these challenges usually don't change at all. All that changes here are just textures and nothing more. We don't really play this game that often, and that's why I forgot some aspects of it, but I really like it a lot, and I really want to see how we will play it. I think we definitely won't have any problems with passing it, because we have a huge number of boosts. And by the way, we have already reached the location where one of the bosses should be chasing us, but for some reason, he didn't even come out to us through this door. Apparently, he doesn't give a damn about us. So now, we take the red key and go straight to the door to the gym. Exactly! There is a gym behind this door. I even managed to forget about it. By the way, it seems to me that we can easily bypass all the tests here, but we will not do this because it seems like cheating to me. Okay, I think we can take your advice and really try to beat this game without using boosts. And by the way, I know one bug here. Look, with the help of the fact that we jumped from this trampoline straight onto this stick, we still have super speed and high jumps, so now we can continue playing this game with the help of this bug. This is a really cool idea. Okay, let's continue to play the game with this bug, but it seems to me that thanks to this bug, we will actually play this game even too fast. By the way, there is a progress bar at the top, but for some reason, it works somehow incorrectly. It seems to me that it incorrectly displays our progress in this game, because we have definitely already reached the middle of this game. By the way, we got to the next boss, but he definitely has no chance to catch up with us because he moves too slowly. And thanks to this bug, we can run away from him very quickly. And by the way, we got to this ventilation very easily. Unfortunately, there is absolutely nothing in the other toilet stalls in this location, so all we can do is just keep moving forward. By the way, I remember this location. In it, we need to throw the ball exactly at the target, but someone has already done it for us. So all we had to do was just jump over all these obstacles and start climbing up this wind tunnel with lasers. By the way, this test was quite simple. It looks like because we jumped too high, we won't be able to jump into this ventilation. So we'll need to use the jetpack to get up to the level of this ventilation. Oh no! After we use this jetpack, our previous speed returned to us. Well, we had no other choice and so we'll have to continue to go through all the tests at the same speed. Okay, I think. Now we can move on. By the way, this funny face in this game always made me laugh a lot. It's a very funny Easter egg from the developers of this game. Okay, now we need to go through all this huge ventilation that seems endless. And then we will go straight to the next test. Yes, this ventilation really feels endless. But finally we found a way out of here. And by the way, we got to the test with the energy drink. I think that the developers of this game and the developers of Barry's Prison Escape are the same people because most of the tests and textures here are very similar. Now you just need to keep running forward and jumping on these ramps. By the way, it's really cool that the developers added ramps to this game because in Barry's Prison Escape, there were no such items. They help us jump high. And by the way, this progress bar has finally been fixed because now our progress in this game is finally starting to show up. Finally, we passed this test with energy drinks and now we are waiting for the race with Mr. Watermelon. I think that it will not be difficult because we have passed this race very often and we really know what to do here in order to be ahead of this boss. Okay, now we just need to keep going forward. Right now we are still in second place, but very soon we will overtake him. Just look. On this turn, we were able to overtake him easily because he took too much of a turn. And now we definitely will not give up first place in this race. We will try to get to the finish line as quickly as possible. The main thing for this is to use all the accelerations that are available to us on this track. 
Because if we miss even one acceleration, this guy will definitely overtake us. We are already very close to the finish line of this track. And I think that this guy really has absolutely no chance to overtake us because we used all the acceleration here, and now we are just rushing forward at full speed. Great! It was a very easy victory. I didn't even feel like he was a difficult opponent. But in fact, I'm very sad to see how sad he is after his defeat. I really want to cheer him up. But it seems to me that this guy doesn't pay attention to us at all. Well, in that case, we'll go straight to the next test. And by the way, I forgot what this test actually is. I think now we will need to overcome this giant abyss, and then we will go straight to the final boss. And by the way, we can easily overcome all this with the help of a jetpack. I think that you can overcome part of the route with the help of a jetpack, and the second part on your own. Yes, I decided to do exactly that, and I still managed to pass this level with ease. Okay. Now we need to go straight to this boss and start fighting him. I don't think this fight will be difficult for us. It would be great if we could use jetpack during this battle, but unfortunately it's impossible. And by the way, our weapon shoots really fast. We literally deal him so much damage in a second that he has almost no HP left. This boss is really easy. It's quite possible that it's because we have too strong a weapon, but we were finally able to defeat him, and now it seems to me that we can become the director of this school. I think we need to use the jetpack to try to fly to the very roof to show everyone who's boss here. I think everyone already knows this, because we've already gone through these tests a huge number of times. Well, by the way, it's really cool that in this game, we were given the opportunity to use boosts, because without them, I think it would be much more boring to play. Now we need to get on that school bus and head straight to the finish line of this game. I think we should be in the driver's seat because we're going to do a pretty good job of getting this train to the finish line. I think that even a first grader could cope with this task because all that is needed here is to simply get forward along a straight road and it seems to me that this distance is as short as possible. Moreover, this bus is going quite slowly, and it seems to me that it has absolutely no chance of getting into any kind of accident. It's pretty funny that this bus is going so slow. I think that if we just ran with the help of the accelerator spring to the finish line, we could get there much faster. But now we have no choice, because this bus can't be opened until it stops. Okay, finally, we've reached the finish line. I didn't think we'd be able to get there so quickly today. And by the way, there's an opportunity to transform into different characters for free, and it's really fun. Oh, just look at this! We look like Ben the Dog now! And by the way, it looks like we can get into a car in this game and go in a random direction. Well, I actually really like this game, even though we finished it pretty quickly. I really like when developers add variety, which makes these games less boring. Now let's move on straight to the next game. Oh, I remember this cute cat. His name is Elgato. By the way, Bluey, don't you want to tell me what else special is going to happen today? Oh, yeah. First of all, I would like to thank all our subscribers very much. Our channel now has exactly 50,000 subscribers, and we got to this result in half a year. Thank you so much for watching our videos and for liking and commenting. This really helps us to continue making these videos. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for this. We really appreciate it and love each of you. But today is an unusual video, not only for this reason. Today, I will be playing this game instead of Bluey. I think subscribers understood it as soon as they saw how you died in this easy test. It was really very funny and definitely not like me. And by the way, just look at this cute cat. He looks very funny with this police cap. Yes, I am really ashamed that I couldn't beat this game on the first try. But in fact, I don't play as well as you because you are the one who always records the gameplay for our videos. I think this will make this video even more interesting to watch. At least I'm very interested in watching you play this game. It seems to me that you should practice a little more. I would like that too, but I can't always do it. Okay, well, I think we should move on now. By the way, I forgot a little bit. In which of these toilet stalls is the tunnel? Bingo! Are you serious? We played this game a ton of times and it always shows up in the second booth. I thought you might remember that. 
I'm just worried because I don't play this game very often and I really don't want anything to go wrong. So I'm just trying to be extra careful. Okay, I think there's nothing wrong with that, really. Well, now let's go straight across this bridge and move on. I really want to see what's new in this location. I think it won't be much different from all the others. By the way, just look. In this corridor, the developers removed the spikes and lava that they added down. And they just added the most ordinary corridor. Okay, it looks like they decided to simplify this game. I don't like when developers do this because I really like difficult games. But it seems to me that for you, this simplification of the game will be beneficial because you don't play Roblox that often. By the way, you cope with this game pretty quickly. You've already reached the second boss. This is the same cute cat. He is running after us right now, but he definitely has no chance to catch up with me because I can run away fast. And by the way, for some reason, he got stuck in the wall, and most likely because of this, it was very easy for me to escape from him. I got to the half-destroyed steps, and now I need to climb up them. I think this is going to be really easy for you. Okay, we've already run right up to this elevator, and now we're heading off to the energy drink race. Okay, let's push this lever and head up. I really want to see how you handle this challenge. And now we've reached this vending machine. We need to drink this energy drink and run straight across these platforms. I actually really like this challenge, and I'm always thrilled with how you complete it. So I think I'll have no problems with it. Wow, just look at this location. It's very colorful and bright. And by the way, you were really right. The developers added new platforms to make this game easier to complete. It's quite possible that if this game was as difficult as always, I would have had to complete it a little longer. Okay, we finally got to the location with the stairs, and it looks like the door is closed. Maybe the stairs are already installed there? Yeah, just look. The developers really did install a huge yellow ladder, and now we don't need to put it under the ventilation. Well, it looks like they really simplified this game for us. I think it's really for the best. For you, you're doing great at passing all the tests. Wait, what's going on? Is there no wind here? Is it just a regular red bridge? Okay, it looks like the developers really went overboard with simplifying this game in some areas. It seems to me that because the developers really simplify this game a lot in the test, where we will need to run with fans, we will not experience any difficulties because there will definitely be quite small distances between platforms. Bingo, be careful here. Oh no, you fell down. Well, it looks like you need to concentrate on this game better because you sometimes make mistakes in the most unexpected places. Okay, let's just get through this test with the valves now and move on. We don't have many tests left to go before we meet the final boss. I don't think the problem here is concentration at all. I just need to practice playing this game a little more often because I play it very rarely. Okay, now let's just run ahead. I don't think there will be anything difficult for me here. I wouldn't swear off it if I were you, because this game is full of unexpected surprises, especially considering that there are a lot of bugs in such modes. Okay, now we've reached the fan race, and just look. The distance between platforms is really very small here. I don't even press any buttons on the keyboard, and my character just runs on his own. It looks pretty funny. Okay, we can even run backwards. It looks like it's a super fast moonwalk or something like that. I think the developers should rework this challenge a little to make it more interesting and to make it not just standing AFK. Now we need to jump in the wind tunnel. By the way, last time because of this wind tunnel, we had a bug due to which we jumped super high. But this time we were lucky and we didn't encounter this. Now we have to fight with this cute cat. In fact, I really don't want to shoot this cute cat. But I will imagine that all the food that I shoot at him actually goes straight into his mouth and he eats it. By the way, this soundtrack of the drop suits him much more than all the other bosses because usually other bosses are pot-bellied adult uncles. And this is a very cute little cat that squeaks. Wait, is it just me or have we stopped damaging him? Oh my god, there's some kind of bug that's causing our shots to do absolutely no damage to him. 
This is really weird. I've never encountered anything like this before. I really couldn't beat this boss on the first try. This is really the weirdest thing. Okay, I hope I can do it on the second try because to be honest, I might get really upset about it. I don't think you should be upset about it because it's really just a game that you don't play that often and so it's normal that you can't pass all these tests on the first try. And by the way, it was a pretty interesting attempt to use the bug in which you are pushed straight onto this hill by an explosive wave. But unfortunately, we couldn't use it because this boss doesn't explode that hard. By the way, it's a pity that there is no timer in this game because now, because of this, I don't know how long it takes me to complete this game. But I really hope that I will really be able to do it not for too long because I generally want to have a pretty good result. I think you shouldn't worry about it. Just enjoy the game, because you haven't played this game for too long to try to set a record in it. But I think that someday, you will definitely be able to do it. Okay, now let's just go up this wind tunnel without touching the lasers and go on. Okay, finally, I only have one more task to complete. By the way, we deserve a free bonus for playing this game for eight minutes already. Great! Now I move much faster. Well, now I need to take this bridge and install it so that it does not fall into this abyss. I think you should switch to first-person view. Oh, no! Did you seriously drop that board right into the abyss? Well, you need to be a little more careful. I think you should switch your view to first-person view so you don't drop that board. Don't worry, Bluey. I'll definitely be able to pass this test. It's pretty easy. Okay, here's the final boss. And it's that very cute, funny cat. We need to shoot him right now. Wait, don't you think he's doing damage to us even though he's not even hitting us with projectiles? This looks really weird as hell. Wait, what's going on here? He's not even shooting at us, but our HP is decreasing. Okay, looks like this game really has too many bugs. Oh no, he almost killed me. Oh my God, I think it's really going to be hard for me to beat this boss. He actually managed to beat me. Well, I think I should definitely be able to beat him on the second try because I think this bug was happening solely because I had this spring left in my hand. I am sure that on the second try, it will be really much easier for you to defeat this boss because now we have removed this spring. And in my opinion, he doesn't even cause us damage. Now the main thing is to just keep shooting at his hands so that we can finally defeat him. Great, I finally beat him. It was really hard, but I really enjoyed playing this game. Now let's move on to the next game. Wait, I think I recognize this location. It was definitely in a different game. You're right, Bingo. This is the location in Subway Surfers. Only here everything is completely different. Oh my god, what is this? Oh no, wait, what did our character say? I think it was in some other language. It sounded like some Portuguese language or something. But anyway, I don't think those words meant anything good. Okay, let's just move on. I really want to know where we're really going. Oh look, it looks like there are some weird markings here. And there's also some kind like of big red button here. Open. Okay, what? it looks like we'll need to do need something to with out. these markings. And, where is my spray and by the way, it's it weird somewhere? that our it character nice has been walking find. around without his spray paint all this time. We need to find it somewhere now. In fact, I am extremely scared to walk around this place because it is very dark and scary here. And to be honest, it scares me very much. Oh my God, what's going on? Is that a dead chicken? God, that scared me so much. And it looks like our character said a bad word again. Oh, look. Looks like we finally found it. Turns out that this spray can of paint spray. was in one of the I cars. Well, no, okay. So now much. it looks like we'll have to leave graffiti on paint the cars. The <laughs> in fact, it's illegal. But it seems that our character doesn't care at all. Well, okay. In fact, we didn't remember well which sign should be on which carriage. So I think we should go back there. Okay. Looks like we need to paint sad smiley faces on the red cars, smiley faces with eyes on the gray cars, and winged hearts on the yellow cars. Okay, I think we can go and do that. In fact, it's quite difficult to remember, but I think we can definitely handle it. Well, we left the first graffiti on the carriage and we should move on. And by the way, I think we should examine all these carriages from all sides in order to look for hidden marks. There are really hidden marks here and it surprised me a lot. 
It looks like we really have to examine each of the cars in this game in great detail. And it's also very difficult to control the character in this game because we do it on the computer. And by the way, I still don't understand why we don't play this game on the phone. We could have recorded this gameplay from the phone, and it would have been much easier and more interesting. I think you forgot a little that our phones are broken because someone left our phones near the stove when Mom was cooking and they melted. I think you're starting to have some memory problems. Maybe it's because we've been turning red lately and it's really pissing me off. Okay, I think we only have one car left, and after that we can go through that red door. That's weird. There was graffiti here before. Oh no, my God. What's going on? Why did this car start shaking so badly? It must be because we painted all the graffiti on all the cars correctly. And now we can push that big red button. Great! Finally, we can go further and find out what is really smart. behind this door. Oh my God, there is some very strange corridor here. Okay, it looks like this is the passage to the next location. It's pretty empty in here. Oh my God, what are those sounds? Wait, is that Thomas the Tank Engine? Wait, that looks really weird. Okay, it looks like, oh no, we got hit by a train here. It looks like this level is going to be hard. By the way, did you notice that all the trains here have numbers on them? I think we really should remember all these numbers because it is quite possible that we will need them. So the first number was three, and after it was the number two. Don't worry, I'll remember all the numbers. The main thing for you is to concentrate on not getting hit by this train. In fact, it's really quite difficult to do, especially considering the fact that you're playing on a computer now. It seems to me that these trains will go here endlessly because we have been walking for quite a long time, and it is really very difficult for me to control this character. But by the way, it seems to me that I see some strange thing in the distance. Perhaps we need to run to it. This button says not to press it, and I think we won't do it. Okay, Blue, and the password is 32272. You need to enter these numbers to open this door. Okay, I thought this level would be a little more difficult, but we still managed to pass it on the first try, and it wasn't very easy. Well, now we need to go further, and we again get into some strange location with a lot of trains. I wonder what kind of tests await us here. I think we should go ahead and find out what will happen in this level. I hope that there won't be anything too scary Looks here. Like By the way, those guess, teeth from the door look something. really weird. It looks like we'll need to plug them with something. There is some computer here. This okay, we clicked on this computer and it looks like now need we need to wagon. explore these cars further. By the way, look, a red mark appeared sure, on one of the cars. And as soon as, soon as we wagon. clicked on it with our spray paint, markings start to appear on these cars. Various markings appear on these wagons. Sometimes you can see coins here, and sometimes you can see chickens. But there are also markings in the form of a spider, and it looks like it is also some kind of secret code. Wow, we found a guitar. I remember that this guitar is one of the characters from this game. Okay, now it looks like with this guitar, we will have to... Oh, no, wait. What happened here? As soon as we touched the train car with this guitar, it immediately turned into a spider and killed us. Okay, now we need to leave graffiti on these cars sure, again. And I, I really I hope that this time we will wagon. understand which cars we can actually smash. I think that we should try to smash the cars that have a coin on them because it is unlikely that a coin will mean anything bad. In fact, I also think that we can try to break the car with a picture of a chicken because it seems to me that it is with the help of a chicken that we can shut people's mouths because it is food. Well, okay, let's try to break the car with a coin. First, cool, a coin fell out of this car that we can pick up. It really does look like a coin from the game Subway Surfers. Well, it looks like the developers really took a very responsible approach to making this game as identical and similar to the original as possible. By the way, it is quite possible that these games had the same developers. Okay, now I think that we should first break all the cars that have coins on them. I think we just broke all the coin cars we saw here. Like okay, now we I need to insert need to these coins something. into these guys' teeth and then go back and start trying to explore the other cars. We may have missed a few marks on the other cars, but in fact, there are some cars here that have absolutely no markings, and I don't understand why this happened. 
Perhaps we can also break these cars with a guitar. But I wouldn't risk doing this yet because there is a chance that there might be something bad in these cars. This is really the weirdest thing, but I think first we should try to find something else that will have the mark we missed. But it looks like there really aren't any such wagons here. So I think we can grab a guitar and start trying out the absolutely random wagons in this game. It looks like we have absolutely no way to break these cars, so we'll have to break the rest of the gray cars. Wow, look. It looks like there was a coin in this unmarked car. So we can try to break the rest of the cars in this game. Oh no, it turned out to be a spider wagon and it killed us again! Well, it looks like not all the wagons in this game can be broken. Okay, I guess we should try starting over. I seriously have absolutely no idea what's going on in this game and it's starting to piss me off. Oh my god, we hit the wrong car again and it looks like it was a chicken car. Well, we lost again. And so right now we're going straight to the next game. The first floor already looks extremely strange. Okay, it looks like...